Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45, and this is war number 10. We just got two more wars after this one. And we're going up against an alliance called Secret Kingdom. All right, let's uh, see, who did they ban? Silk, Void, and Hercules. Of course. All right, let's see what they got in store for us. And I believe this is the same uh, alliance that we fought, I think, the first war. So we have a chance to uh, get some revenge. All right. Let's see. So we got those two. All right. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, really? Let's see. All right, so we got to deal with this uh, right off the bat. So I do want a DK attacker. So I, I may just bring in... Um, I might bring Titania in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. She's globally ba banned, so this might be a job for Ant-Man, who I just uh, ranked up. I mean, Spider-Man 2099 uh, can also do it. Let me, let me go back real quick and remember the global bans. Okay, yeah, Titania is banned. So, uh, Spider-Man 2099 can do it, and so can Titania. Now, this Super Skrull, I mean, not Super Skrull, Red Skull, hmm. So, they both really need, oh, man. That's going to be annoying. These guys are really putting it on us. Okay. So I need, I, I really do want somebody that doesn't get buffs, but it looks like I also need someone who's not going to get power drained. A decay attacker that doesn't get power drained because that red skull is going to have those armor ups. See, normally I would bring in Gallon. And I might do that. But because he is a global uh, defender, I don't know if I want to do that. I think I might have issues with um, his power. Might be better to uh, go in with someone who is a decay attacker but does not get drained. I'm going to have to think about this one. Uh, these ones here, that's, a uh, Corvus. And let's see. I could bring in a Quicksilver. Quicksilver doesn't do, um, yeah, that could be some revenge right there. Because we fought him there before, right? If I remember correctly. So I might uh, ask for a rematch against that gore and bring in Quicksilver. So Cor uh, Corvus, Quicksilver... And I'm not using Quicksilver against that um, Ebony Maw. I need somebody like um, Ant-Man. But I'm going to need a, a good solution for this one. So I need to think about that. Uh, but right now, Corvus is a definite. And uh, tentatively, Quicksilver. 
if not Quicksilver, um, if I have to bring in somebody that, you know, specifically like uh, Spider-Man 2099 for Ebony Maw and then somebody else for Red Skull, we will see. Um, let me see something here. Under an armor up, they power burn. So, Hulkling could do this fight. The thing that I am worried about is the, um, I wonder why they won't show us that. Here, there it is. Is that it? Local node, there you go. This is what I'm worried about. So whenever a buff it expires or is nullified, see, they are going to get an unstoppable. I don't want to deal with an unstoppable all the time. Now, I was told that the decay attackers, you do a heavy attack, they get a slow. That could be um, a way to use uh, Quicksilver against that Red Skull. But I don't know. He gets. Um... Yeah, I got to I got to think about it and talk about it with my uh, with my team, but definitely Corvus, possibly Quicksilver. And then we need somebody for these two here. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going to be going in with Galen, Ant-Man, and Corvus. I ranked up my Ant-Man for a reason. So let's see how he performs. I think a lot of people sleep on Ant-Man, but he's actually pretty decent now. He used to be not so decent, but he is pretty decent now. Now, if you watched uh, one of the previous wars, I went up against an Ebony Maw with uh, Quicksilver and I lost the first round against him and I mentioned that I should have used Ant-Man reason being Ant-Man is immune to buffs so you're not going to get the degen unless you get hit uh, but you're not going to get any degen from Ebony Maw if he can't if you don't have a buff that he can nullify then you just have to worry about the other two. Okay? So, here we go. Just going in. Fighting like normal. Little interception there. No problem. He's focused now, so I need to hit a heavy. Got that. Okay. Now, normally that would be a problem because that would have put a fury buff. And this right here would have degen me. Okay? First special one puts the fury buff then the second special one would have dj but as you can see no dj okay he can fire those special ones all he wants look at this beautiful this is why i should have used ant-man in that other fight and i will going forward like i said i ranked him up for a reason okay He's also a DK attacker. <clears throat> Not that that would make a difference because he's immune to buffs. So whether he was DK or not, he would still be a good option for uh, Ebony Maw. Titania would as well, but they banned her. Next season, she won't be banned. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. So now we come to the fight that I was a little um concern with i was like i think gallon should be able to do this fight pretty easily but let's see um he gets a lot of armor ups so i should be able to just go in and look at that now the placebo is what i'm worried about 
okay because this is not a dk attack so i'm just wanting to get this fight over with quick like that before the placebo buffs can expire and he gets all of the benefits and the um, starts going unstoppable and all of that stuff so that worked now we will see gallon again that fight was interesting i'll just say that before we get there i'll, I'll talk more about that fight all right so next up of course corvus is coming for that viv vision and anytime i have a difficulty with viv vision i've noticed something it's really the ai that i'm noticing some things they they fight differently or um maybe the inputs do something a little different and you'll see what i mean if you watch some of the other fights you'll know what i'm talking about this fight is very easy when everything goes the way uh you think it should okay parry get those armor breaks ba da da ba da da very quick and easy but when things don't go quite right then you have to adjust now you see i put on a invulnerability boost because shenanigans you never know okay so here we go parry medium light medium medium light medium everything should be good all right medium light medium don't want her to fire that special one because it's annoying all right she's already about halfway down she's got her special two but she's surprisingly resilient. Now we're having to worry about the uh, charges. So that's why you see I'm switching up to just doing medium light attacks. See? Just do medium light, medium light, go in. Because what we're trying to do is save those uh, charges. Medium light, all right? We got two charges left. So we want to bait that out because it may not take her out completely. Okay, here we go. Medium, light, medium. Done. So we had to switch up a little bit to the medium light so that we could last long enough. Because if we lose our um, charges, it's a bad day, especially on that node. Now, in some other fights, um, it goes much faster. Now, that one, uh, I, don't, I didn't remember seeing it, but that may have been a maxed out Viv Vision. So you have to be careful with that. All right. So here, as you can see, I'm doing medium lights, mainly because uh, she has a, in her kit, if you do the same attack, she gets an armor up. Now, against Corvus, not a big deal. Okay. I could do medium light mediums all this day. I could just go in. Every armor up she gets, I can armor break. Okay? So I decided to do the medium light, but you don't have to against her if you're using Corvus. But I like to keep into practice just in case. You know, uh, I don't want to go into a fight and be like, okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not using Corvus. So now I got to just better to just do it the same all the time now here we have our final fight and this was a fight i was assigned and i was told that gallon can do this fight uh easy one shot that's what i was told i've not done this fight before now i have uh fought uh infamous iron man and you can see here I'm sitting here because I'm going back in line, messenger, and going back to see if there were any instructions that I needed to know for this fight. And basically what I was told is not to worry about the regen or anything like that. Build up to a, um, what is it? Planetary mass of 999. And then one shot, bam, right? So I'm like, okay, that should, I should be able to do that. Now, I did do something off which 
I, I think might have influenced it. But I'll tell you about that after. All right. So um, got a boost here. And I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking. I'm reading. Uh, you see the uh, placebo buff and all this other stuff that, that I have to deal with. And I'm like, okay, okay. Let's do it. Okay. So I have my plan. The plan, just fight like normal. Build up to, uh, you know, planetary mass 999. And then let loose. Okay. He's unblockable. But we've practiced and we know how to block is unblockable. See all this regen? Ignoring it. Okay. So I'm like, all right. Now, this time I, I kind of fired the special one off because uh, I wanted to build up and get to the special one with the 999 uh, planetary mass. But I'm like, hmm, you know, this is going uh, interestingly. All right. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then I'm already at the special two. And if I remember correctly, he is immune to um, incinerate when he has that uh, armor up or, or what have you. So I'm like, okay, well, we shouldn't have a problem here. Uh, I'll just build up to 999 again. Don't ask, it happens. Now I have to build it up again because every time you get knocked down, you lose planetary mass. Okay, so here we go. We're at 999. So I want to bait this out. Knock me down again, but I'm like, whatever. Because I can already see how this is going. Somehow, I'm not able to evade it like I, I was earlier. So anyway, we've got this, right? So now, the harvest has begun. He's got 999. So now what I want to do, if I can, but he doesn't want to play right. I'm trying to build up to a special one. How can I do that when he's just dashing back and not firing his special? All right, and you see that I got clipped again. Harvest was complete. He didn't die. Wasn't a one shot. Now the regen. And I'm like, okay, let me just build back up. And and we should be able to get the one shot without having to worry about his uh, regen. Okay, so I built up, built up, and I was like, oh, wait. I didn't really want to go back to a special uh, two. But I'm like, all right, whatever. Here, let's see if we can finish him off. Down to like, what, 5%? And that was it. We got lucky there. He didn't fire the special three. Damn. Look at his health. Okay. All the way back up. I can't tell you how demoralizing that is. And I'm just like, uh, okay. And look at his regen now. So the plan is already done. Okay. I tried it twice i got 999 it didn't finish him off then i didn't build up enough for the second one then suddenly i'm just getting hit maybe i just got tired okay suddenly i can't evade it is what it is right so you can already see how this fight is gonna go right so i'm like all right i'm just gonna have to spit in his eye toward the end okay he's back to full can i make it back up to a, a special uh three who knows i got three percent of my health left and with the way things are going who knows hey evaded it and i was like you know what let me just go ahead and fire that off but here's the thing that only begins the harvest i gotta survive long enough for the harvest to be complete. I'm down to 2% health. And any hit, including into my block, is going to be done. So that was that. I was not happy, to say the least. Um, I don't know how um, I should have done it. Should I? Do I need a, a rank 5 gallon? Did I not boost up enough? You know? Um, but that's not who I would have brought in for that. 
Now, I do not doubt that the, you know, uh, Gallon can take this guy. I don't doubt that. Okay. Um, but you guys saw. Now, would I try this again? Not if I could help it. Now, the reason I'm sitting here is because I'm like, do you want me to go back in? You know, the plan did not work. I can revive, heal all the way back up. We can go back in. And uh, they were like, no, nope, no. Nope. Um, we'll, we'll bring somebody else in with, uh, um, I think, Warlock. And they also died. So two deaths on this infamous Iron Man. But anyway, uh, we'll be back in a minute and you guys will find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. No surprise, uh, this season has been a really bad season for us. Um, yeah, let me uh, show you guys here. Shout out to our uh, MVPs. They truly hold it down. They do. Um, but look at the score, guys. Look how close this war was. This was a very, very close war. But you win, you lose. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Thank you.